Today I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Frederick de Grey of H2O Innovation. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you, Tracy. I'd like to start by congratulating you on being one of four companies for the Global Water Awards. Can you tell us about this uh, award nomination and congratulations? Well, thank you very much. I mean, um, it's, uh, it's really an honor to be nominated among these uh, four major uh, companies. It's uh, the Global Water Intelligence um, is, is having an awards every year and nominate to companies. We are into the category of um, Water Technology Company of the Year. And we are among GE, among uh, Danaher, among Suez, and H2 Innovation as the smallest company above, among all these four. And can you just tell me how big this is for people who may not be familiar with the Global Water Awards? How big is this for the industry? Well, it is the number one reference and the most credible one for the in industry in terms of market intelligence. So uh, data being collected on both the industries and the different governments. Um, it is a very viable source of information for all the companies just like H2O but also the major ones to uh, take strategic decisions on how they're planning to either develop you know, different geographies, develop their technologies. It clearly tells the industry what are the main drivers. So this is huge in terms of exposure for H2 Innovation and, and other companies and to be among these three other players and to be just among the industry itself and being recognized as a market leader is huge. I think the last time we spoke we were highlighting your 50.8 million sales backlog. For those investors who are not familiar with H2O Innovation, let's start there. Can you give us an update? So, yeah, the, the backlog is being driven and pushed by numerous uh, reasons. First being in, in North America, uh, we see that there's numerous projects um, in need for new infrastructure in the U.S. particularly uh, being uh, exposed to the drought in California. The second reason, and, and that also the reason why we have been nominated, is through the different innovation we push forward. We launched um, a few innovations last year, uh, particularly with the uh, FiberFlex allowing us to really differentiate ourselves in our offering for our customer and then rapidly gain traction and win new projects. So this is one of the reasons why we saw this backlog grow rapidly. Of course, you are going to be one of the three keynote speakers at the Clean Tech and Technology Medal Summit coming up on May 10th and May 11th. You know, with regards to the clean tech revolution, can you tell us how important water is? Of course, you're going to be our number one water expert. Well, you see, water is, is becoming more and more a precious resources, and people are starting to realize it, uh, particularly, again, in, in the U.S. and California, where they have been exposed to the impact of drought. Um, you see, currently, uh, we, don't, we don't feel that, but 70% of the water being consumed goes for irrigation. 22% goes to industrial application and uses, and then only 8% goes for uh, human consumption. So the better we can provide technology to reuse this water for irrigation purposes, for example, uh, I think the better we're making the, the infrastructure and better use we're making of the infrastructure. So, so that might be some of the topics I'm going to touch on the conference and see how uh, the technologies can be used because it's, it's available out there and how HGO can provide these technologies and help the market. So, Frederick, for all of us shareholders and interested parties at in H2O Innovation, can you tell, tell us what we should anticipate over the next couple of quarters? Well, for us, is to, again, execute this backlog, this uh, $50.8 million backlog that will be uh, recognized over the coming quarters. Uh, we still have a very active sales pipeline that will ultimately will convert into a sales backlog. So we have numerous projects on which we're, on which we're currently working on, and we're expect closing of these projects in the coming quarters. So very active in terms of sales. In terms of specialty products and services, uh, still steady growth in the coming quarters. Uh, we have a couple of other innovations that we expect to push forward and launch in the coming quarters. So this again will drive new sales, will attract new customers, will improve the gross margin as well. So very exciting moment right now for H2 Innovation. Well, again, congratulations on your nomination for the Global Water Awards, and it's a pleasure to speak with you as always. Thank you very much, Tracy.